now, now we record the game. Whoops. We did. Nice, don't have to do it again. I was watching a video essay on the highs and lows of Naruto by this guy named Ipatchel, I think. I'm definitely not getting that right, but and these these videos are both pretty old, like five or six years old, but he basically did like a retrospective thought on like the uh the progression of Naruto and its writing over time. And he looked at the the manga and the anime and how Things started to decline towards the uh, Great Ninja War, which I totally agree. It was, uh, it was a hot mess. Um, I'll do it. Nice. I feel like this is a, a closed fist kind of guy. Uh-oh. Can no one... Audience. One second. Right, I feel like the audio for the game was not on previously, but I fixed that. At least you can hear my beautiful, sultry voice. There's more of these guys before. Usually there's like four of them in here. Green. Blue, red. Orange. Okay. Tomb of Ji Jin. Let's just go into the tombs one by one. Sturdy door cannot be opened at this time. Oh. This is the tomb of the emperor. Oh, here's the girl. I am restored. Nice. Oops. There, the ghosts are just be. I, I was just thinking the same thing. The artifact is supposed to be in the room at the end of the tomb. All right, let's uh, save. Level up. Stone Immortals, pretty cool. Hey, who goes your mummy? Oh, I thought I could talk to you. Oh, 
Oh no, silver box is diseased. DJ PD Pete, hello. Sorry for screaming and then leaving. <laughs> I'm really excited for your, uh, oh hell yeah, thanks for the sub. Appreciate you, fam. I'm really excited for your Dark Souls playthrough. I don't know what it is about Dark Souls, but everyone's specific playthrough of the game is super interesting. I just want to see how you like approach it, even though I've never really played it too hard. Play a little of Dark Souls 3 and then some of Elden Ring. Just seems like a cool game. You were spooked! It is a kind of a, a creepy game, isn't it? I feel like you don't play scary games. Maybe that's just me. I'm a firebender. All right, I'll wait. I, I just, I just want to heal up, bro. It's really fun though. How this game? No picture. Fuck! I forgot to transition back. Thanks, boy. I had to fix the audio, so I, I jumped out for a sec. Here's the picture. I do without you. Would you say you've gotten really far in Dark Souls? Did you did you face a boss yet? Combo works. I beat the first real boss today on your third attempt. Well, that's pretty good. What was their name? Or like, I don't really know by names, but could you describe what they were like? <laughs> The doggo that did frost damage. Oh, okay. Spirit harvest. More XP from killing ghosts. No power ups from killing ghosts. No, I'm good. Oh! Trap was sprung. Uh oh. Ghost boss. More death. More intruders. Your corpse will lie here with those of my subjects. And your spirit. Damn. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. So dead. Fuck. What a hat. The hat of a legend. The girl made me feel bad. Damn it. To do all this again.
I gotta say, level up. Uh, having to start back where I was really fucking sucks. Dire flame. It takes so long to kill enemies, too. I'm currently running a limited mid deck with five flip the switches and four storm rider spirits. Oh shit! Mid is 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 mid back. I have not opened the arena client in a while. I was just saying that I feel like I feel like the arena open gets me too gets me too sweaty and I need to take a break after I fucking blew blew it. Or I need to give myself not so many tries. It's flashing back an arena right now. That sounds fun. This little girl makes fun of me. I see. Yeah, I just need to recharge my spirit. That's why they're here, right? Arena open is just so much money. Yeah, and, I, and then I see all the creators saying, oh yeah, I made it. But I mean, they play way more than me and they're way more invested in getting to the next spot. Mom is a great set. I'm excited to come back to it in the future. Um, and just do drafts with people. Also, Ethan says it's his goat set. I mean, it's really fucking fun. It's got like everything that a fun limited format should have, which is like strong archetypes, but also random uh powerful cards like the companions that just let you make really cool decks that you don't get every single time but when they do come around you can really make them shine i'm gonna come uh visit massachusetts in july book on my flights but I think I'm gonna be there for like two weeks so we gotta play some magic while I'm there oh hell yeah gonna be lit Gotta play mom. Gotta play other sets too. Just everything. We can buy a box or something. And I'm gonna say. What a fucking ass. And Dominary United, at least. Oh, that was weird. Oh, I came back for a second. We should do just that whole block. We should do a uh, a sealed. We'll do a sealed of Dominary United Brothers War, 
Um, Phyraxia. Wait, how many fucking sets were there? It's Dominar DMU, Brothers War. Uh, is it Phyrexia? Yeah, Phyrexia, All Be One, and Mom, and Mom Aftermath. That's like four sets. Do a big sealed pool. We'll build decks around that. We fun. Alright, bullshit. I feel like this is the final boss. Shit. I'm not big on one or bro, but I'd be down. Yeah, I don't like them individually, but as together with the flavor, it'd be great. I feel like this guy's like the final boss of this area, and I just like went straight for him. I think I need to pick off these guys first. Goddamn thing! I don't think chi based attacks or non chi based attacks are gonna hit them. Suck. All of these suck. can do this fight right now. I just don't want the little girl to freak out. Alright, it's a fucking trap. 
I for gore. Maybe I'll just try a different companion. So I'm just good against ghosts. Ghosts. Time to bloody my axes. Try this guy out. I feel like he might also be. I feel like this is the way to go. They can't hit me here. Oh, fuck. Now we can. All right, all right, this is going well. Just need to change out my follower. This is definite. That's definitely the way to go. So, definitely change my follower. Time to bloody my act. And then save the game again. Let's try this out. Should uh change that probably. Fucking heals. That's my issue. Something. Oh, I just got, just got a bunch of shit. Wish I could bring one of these guys back. Fuck you, motherfucker! God damn it. Alright, that was closer, I guess. This is the real Dark Soul. God damn it, I did it again! Ah, fuck you! Someone needs to remind me to change my style before entering this way. The old one two combo. Yeah, I recommend a hat to match that. Makes sense. I I wanna get a hat. Spirit. 
Fuck you, man. Fuck you! God damn it! Fuck you! Style, style, style. Those three words that will always escape me. It's all about time. And then being able to fucking see the terrain. See, it's not about just spamming. It's about understanding your enemies. What is that noise? Is it, am I the only one who hears that? It's like this radiating aura. part of the game just like slow slow droning noises okay the game is telling me that this is too hard right now but i don't give a shit i'm gonna fucking do it fuck you game i don't care about your rules i don't care if i pick the wrong style again and i've totally boned myself before i even started fuck you and your aoe Bullshit. Fuck you. Fuck you, motherfucker. I got you cornered. Now you're gonna drop some goodies. Okay, clearly take out take out these motherfuckers first. And I feel like this guy doesn't like this white bozo does fucking nothing. Oh, and this guy's just taking my fucking life away. I think the white ghosty ghost is melee. Yeah, dude fucking drains life. Okay. I need to kill the- I need to kill the long-range black ghosts first. That is the way. I fucking hate every time. Oh! <laughs> 
fuck you. This is it. You're also pretty low health. Need to stone mortal this motherfucker. Style! Style. Thank you, Peter. Trigger! Fuck you. I hate everything. Attacking the sprightly ghost. I need you to attack the not dumb guy. I don't think you can dodge that one either. I need you, my partner in crime, to stop being a dumbass. Please, for the love of God, stop attacking. Oh my god. I don't even think you can do damage to that guy. Rico! This game is infuriating! Up, 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 up! He's a Ghostbuster. Yeah, maybe I need a uh, not him, actually. Why does it change to Spirit Thief, bro?
Constantly dodge. Fuck you! God damn it! Oh, come on! <sighs> Who ex. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh, the game broke. Hmm. All right, we're trying a different follower. I I have a theory. Hello, Getaway Tiger. Thank you for the follow. We're struggling with this game. <laughs> this is the time. I have a feeling that because he does physical damage, he can't hit the ghosts. So I'm a... She also does physical damage. Recovers my chi. I am honored that you have chosen me. Huh. Just noticing this. Recovers your health. Chai Ka attacks can damage. Chai Ka! What's a Chai Ka? Ah yes, the mighty inner sanctum battle. Yeah, I feel like this battle is really fucking hard for no goddamn reason. Are you a fan of Jade Empire, Getaway Tiger? One of my people who watched the stream well, highly recommended it. As you know, I'm very into these types of games like Bioware. Chai Pa. Let's try that. Let's try that! Is it just me? Or does it always fucking shift? Does support literally mean he's not gonna do a fucking anything? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yep, yeah, my favorite video game of all time! Oh my god! Even if the battles are mighty. What makes this your favorite game? I gotta know. And you can only do one or the other. I am honored that you have chosen me. This. Yeah, this is fucking hard as shit. Who knew the combat would be this difficult? is gonna recover my chi. But not fast enough. What's the What's the hot tip for this fight? I need to know. I'm struggle busting. Like, 
Like, can I dodge this guy's bullshit attack? Where he just drains me? I... Cause I can't block it, it's like a charged ability. I need you to fucking do something. Are you doing it, Donstar? How do I know if you're working? Do it again, do it again. Oh wait, I did- No, 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 I can't- I can't tell. So much life. So much life. I see you run something, getaway tiger, but I am fucking focused as sh Oh my god, he did it again. Yeah, yeah, he's going for it. He's going for it. Come on, Don Star. Come on. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? God damn it. Oh my god. Oh. Sorry, I get tilted. I get tilted. You say the story mainly. I feel this is a high point for Bioware, and I mean, the Asian inspiration doesn't hurt as an Asian descendant myself. That's good. I feel like, I mean, I do not have any Asian heritage, but I feel like they um, did a good job of paying homage to that culture um, and not using it as a stereotype or poking fun of it they really respect like the spirituality that comes with it and i feel like they did their their homework it was so close it's like he when he's that far away he just keeps doing it on repeat and i don't think i can actually dodge it the red one is the worst it's so hard Ugh. high point for bioware it's cool that you say that because nobody really talks about this game. I feel like it was overshadowed by the work they were doing with Star Wars at the time. And then, of course, Mass Effect comes out right after this, so. Get rid of the red one ASAP. See, I tried that in the beginning, but he's so fucking strong. I feel like I need to get rid of the little boys first, but maybe I understand. Um, but, and for the, I can't, oh, I guess I can have Legendary Strike equipped. But my, I, I've been using my uh, spear for the melee attacks, but it's, there. the ghosts are immune to the spear. Justice for my little baby game. This guy had too powerful. I agree. How's your run going, Peter? Are you still are you 5-0 right now? So let's this literally can't do anything right now. So we'll take flawless off.
Three, two, but we gaming. Okay, cool. Good to know. I am honored that you have chosen me. Time to bloody my axes. Oh man. Yeah, I've I've gone full into my chi. My character is uh something. I feel like it just legendary strike the shit out of him. Okay, red guy first, you say. Oh. I fucking swear to god. Peter should really go to bed. Good night, friend. Good night to you as well. It was good talking. So long. I felt like I had a really good time with. I am honored that you have chosen me. Hope you beat this guy. Thank you. Get away, Tiger. Give it to me straight. Am I just fucked here? Am I just absolutely dog shit against these mothers? Combo going. Well, maybe level up a bit more and then come back. I could do that. I'll give this one the old college try. It's just so strong. Is the, uh... My biggest concern is that... Yeah, that kick doing nothing. Um... If I leave... Will the girl... Like, I'm just worried about the girl leaving. You know? Like, if I leave and come back, will that Anything's be Anything is better than waiting around in the camp. There's still go. Nah, she I won't see. leave. Okay, good. We will come back. Cause that way too hard. We'll go somewhere else. Um, have you played any other Bioware games or like what? A I know this is your favorite game, but what other games do you play? Good old NPCs that literally stay wherever they need to. <laughs> Except when they don't and the game's like, Haha, we got you. Yeah. 
Sometimes the, the game developers just want to make it feel bad. I think Bioware is generally pretty good about telling you, hey, if you go past this point, then you're not going to be able to come back. So don't be mad at us. I'm cursed. I can't beat, I can't beat combat. Anything is better than waiting around in the camp. You played all the Bioware games, I think. At least to your knowledge. That's awesome! I'd, I definitely have not played Knights of the Old Republic 2. Or, uh, I guess I have played the Old Republic a little bit. Um, but other than that, I think There's... I've played most of their games. Uh, power rank them. One through however many there are. What's your ranking? All top your top three video games are all Bioware. Heck yeah! I like to hear it. You throw them at me. Okay, I already went over there. We just finished. So my first game that I streamed was Mass Effect 2, and then I streamed Mass Effect 3 on the original 360. And then I got Legendary Edition, and I did a whole ass playthrough of all of those games as a female Shepard, Renegade, which was fun. One is Jade Empire. Over Mass Effect? It's insane. Insanity. Two is Mass Effect 2. Oops, send it before finishing the line. LMIO. I've done that before, don't worry. We've all been there. It's actually kind of funny. One of the person who recommended Jade Empire to me is named Fairwolf. Thank God. Thank fucking god. Did not want to do that again. Speed. Oh no! What? What? You're back? No! I don't want to fight you again. My baby? My baby, please, where is he? Where Bear, is hello. Taken him? Bear Wolf meet Getaway Tiger. Their favorite game of all time is Jade Empire. You two should talk. Y yes. If you know me, then you must know the pain I feel. My baby. That monster Shen has taken I've him played from all me. the Bioware, Bioware from the newer generations. I, I always forget they have some older games, free Knights of the Old Republic, that I've never played either. Please find my baby. Bring him back to me. Let me know how he's doing. Please. You have to help me find Again. him. Shen must know where he is. That abominable little man took him from me. Kill him. Torture Damn. him. Whatever you need. To find that hideous little man and bring... 
Do I know Shen? Is... is someone there? You. What do you want? Have you come to torture me more? Have you come to see me suffer here unavenged? No one cries for merchant buy. Oh, look at you two playing nice. <laughs> you know of me? You've heard about the pains I suffered in life, and this continued torment I have to endure in death? You, you can understand? You don't run in terror like it the rest. It is a very underappreciated game, Bear. Perhaps I you can help. You there. I was a merchant in life. Not a rich one, but I made enough to survive. I sold mostly to the poorer sections of the city. My goods weren't the finest, but they were practical. At the time, there were a pair of brothers, Sitsu and Si Ran, who were the terror of the streets. They extorted money and goods from everyone. They tried to extort from me. When I wouldn't give them what they wanted, they... They decided to make an example of me. They killed me and mutilated me and left me dead in that alley. They terrorized the city for weeks after that, but they were finally run down. That might have been where it ended, just as done, but it wasn't. They were buried here, with me. Their deaths execution by beheading were harsh enough that they have risen again. Queen raiding with a party of four, let's go. My spirit cannot rest quiet with them here. Even now in death, they mock me and torment me as they did in my final moments of life. 17 months of a wag. Welcome. Thank you for the sub. Yes, yes. If my killers are at least removed from this world, their spirits will no longer torment me. You, you must find a way to defeat them and drive them from this place. They were common criminals, so they were not given a normal burial. They were dumped in a communal grave underground to the south. I'm sure you can find them. Thank you, stranger. If you can truly help me, if, if you do, I'll show you something that even Shen hasn't found yet. Is Bear not sleeping? Rip sleep. I would very much like to find some health. Uh, they were buried and arisen to torment him. Writing wise, probably Dawnstar or Zoo. The Silk Fox is definitely sassy and funny. I I really like Dawnstar a lot. I think Dawnstar is a really interesting will be mine. character. That cheating, lying Cheat. sow, sullying I like the, like the dirt like duality me in the comparison the between her and your main character and how you were sort of like formed together almost. Or like her ability to see spirits may be directly related to corpse. your shrine being destroyed. You? You've heard of me? What do you know? What do you want here? I have no time for idiots who only want to rob my grave. What do you need time for? Shen paid me to put you down. I exist only for revenge. Revenge on my wife, who after so much talk of faithfulness and love, decided she would be better off without me. She killed me! Poisoned me. In my own house. When I find her... Should learn to let the past go. How can I let the past go when my very reason for existing in this world still is her? She was everything to me in life. Mm, and that's a good so question, Bear. As well. Find her. Bring her to me. Let me kill her and draw the last agonizing uh... breath from her body. Most likely, she's still at our old home. It's in the market district near the entrance to the Black Leopard. Um... Ren Mink. I don't think I could, uh... 
Kailu san. I don't know if I can, in good faith, bring a woman to her death. Died young. Already been here too. Spirit. Fuck you. Spirit. There's only one in here. Come all the way. Yeah, I'm an I'm an open palm kind of player as well. Is this a DLC? This area? I don't think so. I wouldn't know. Talk to this motherfucker again. Vengeance will. Sometimes it is fun to be close fist. Stop being fucking useless. Can you please do something? I'm begging you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll play the next one as Close Fist. If I do, if I play this game again, I will definitely try out Close Fist. As one does. When you put yourself in the close fist mentality, it's just dissatisfying. 100%. When I played Mass Effect as a renegade person, when when you role play like that, it's very satisfying. But it has to be justified. Can't just be a dick for no reason. You know. I don't even want to fight you. I just want to fucking heal. Fight you. Damn it. I'm gonna be stuck in the necropolis forever. So true. Can I block these green things? Definitely can't block that. Yeah, it's not it's not going well. I fucking hate everything. Go so are hard. Green I can block, blue I can't. Okay. Good to know. Thank you, getaway tiger. Thank you. I don't, I don't think uh, Silk Fox is doing any damage. How did I come back there? The fuck? I 
I heard Lucas enjoy the Spider-Verse movie experience. I did. I did. It's quite fun. Really good movie. The game didn't register the death. That happened once before in this playthrough. I have no chi. Can't do a fucking thing. Silk Fox is doing zero damage to this one ghost. All I want to do is get to the fucking spirit font outside the tomb. So I am not, you know, doing this every fucking time. No! This is torture. It's torture. If it like I can't I don't understand how to use focus like the only ability that you the only thing that lets me use that is um flawless right and it doesn't do anything to the ghosts right or am I missing something here? Right, focus is my yellow bar. But how do I use it? Like, the only power that I know is uses focus is the, sp the spear, which does no damage to him. Oh, unless I'm wrong there. Hydrate. I'm playing on, uh, console. Thank you, Bear. I am honored that you have chosen me. Time to bloody my axes. Slow time effect. Specific button. I don't think I use that at all yet. Keeping the black whirlwind out is the way to go. Is 
This voice acting after KOTOR was great. It's... it gets there. Thank you. I will show you! Um... Well, yeah, let's do some of these quests, I guess. Try to level up a little bit. 2217. That's 8. 817? 1017. Yeah, so you're an hour ahead of us. I'm on the Pacific Coast time. Cali, baby. Karth was a stick in the mud. What a what a jerk. <laughs> I like him though. I love Karth's voice actor. Are these the Y button in Xbox for the folks effect? Ah, look who has come to see us. A mortal then? Shall we feast, brother? No. Hmm. Yes. I've always won. I feel like the game has never shown that I can do this. Did I miss the tutorial? That's amazing. Oh my god. That's gonna be a game changer. An absolute gobsmacking game changer. Thank you, Getaway Tiger. Focus. Wow. But this is, I, I'm playing on a Xbox controller, so. You got it right, thank you. You never gave me the rest of your list. What's number three? It is not on the tutorial battle? How was I ever supposed to know that you would do that? Oh my God. Six cents. Feeling like that's gonna help. Focus of aid. Oh shoot, sorry. That's okay, that's okay. I'm just genuinely curious. Intuition plus aid. Jade Empire, Mass Effect 2, Dragon Age Inquisition, or I guess Dragon Age 3 for the homies. I've also heard really great things about Dragon Age Inquisition. I, and I lied to you before, I've actually, I never beat Dragon Age Origins, but I got to the last boss and then uh, couldn't figure it out and kind of gave up. So I definitely want to go back to that at some point. Literally everything was a trap. All great games. And Mass Effect 2 is great. I think on your first playthrough, it's maybe the best of the three because that last mission is so good. And if you don't know all the ins and outs of the suicide mission and how to perfect it, it just immediately makes you want to go back and replay the whole game to figure it out. Um, but once you, on your, like, fourth or fifth playthrough, like, it just becomes such a slog to get through the entire game if you're doing, like, a perfect run-through, right? Or you want to do all the side mission loyalty missions to, like, get the perfect ending or at least, like, quote-unquote beat the game. It just gets so long. Motherfucker. I didn't expect you to be out here. Is there another yeah. more of you? Not a lot of people playing Jade Empire on Twitch. 
Makes you sad. Uh -huh. I mean, it doesn't doesn't surprise me. I don't know if a lot of people have, have ever heard of this game, let alone want to play a, a game like this on stream. I agree, especially because you can fail the loyal conditions. Now that was a real struggle. Nobody puts Lucas in the corner. True, and a funny uh, story about my loyalty missions. Um, I actually, on on my male playthrough on my 360, I actually I actually accidentally failed um, Zaid's loyalty mission, but he survives the suicide mission because I think he's got like a really high base score. But because I failed the loyalty mission in two he dies in three which was really fascinating um so he was the only person who died in that run through that was that was cool uh i don't want to talk to you yet i think this is the path of least resistance this way um where was that guy? Oh, he was this way. Oh, fuck. No, I don't want to go through there again. Yes, the connections, the connections in the trilogy are insane. Just the pure fact that they bridged three totally separate games together like that and, like, made your decisions actually matter from one game to the other is a beautiful work of art. And I think... I, I mean, I'm too far gone, and I've gone too deep into the, like, how things branch out. But the best way to play the games is just to go in blind and not really have any predispositions. Because it's, like, the perfect, like, single-player D&D game. Because I need to not dodge on those. I need to block. Still do damage to I would never fail a loyalty mission in a Lucas chat. No, you wouldn't. I've taught you too well. Um. Yeah, Mass Effect's good. Mass Effect's great. I could talk about Mass Effect for for hours. You had to give a class on how the game connects for a subject in university, and one of my friends was like, are you okay? Because I'm not okay, so I don't know how you can be okay. <laughs> Wait, what? what? What did you talk about? You worried that person so much. But also very curious on what your discussion was, because, funnily enough, in my high school English class, we had a section on persuasion. And I wanted to write my persuasion speech on why Mass Effect, the original, because the second one hadn't come out yet, why the original was the best game of all time. Or I trained you well. Dance for me, puppet, dance! Here's the guy. Thank you, thank you. I feel as if a great weight has been lifted from my spirit. Here, let me show you this. Something Shen hasn't found yet. I hope you use it well, and thank you. Open path! She was like, why does a choice in game one, that seems like a throwaway choice, have an apocalyptic consequence in the third game? Mind blown. Because it's that fucking great. Um. Yeah. I think my one. If, if I could name one huge missed opportunity in the Mass Effect trilogy, it's uh the Rachni decision. Because in that in the first game, deciding whether or not to save the Rachni was so hard for me because on the one hand you 
have this species that is literally killing people left and right for seemingly no reason. Um, but they appease to your goodwill of like, hey, we were poisoned and my children were crazy or like, you know, they, they, they want you to put faith in them. And if you do and let them survive, it's kind of like loosely threaded, but that decision seems so important, but then they just give an, a reset of that decision in three where they become reaper five and you have to choose again whether or not to save them. So like without the knowledge of what happens in two or three, the decision in one seems so important. But then once you get to the third game, it's just like, okay, the Rachni didn't have a huge part to play. Like either you save them, if you save them, they help build the final thing. And if you don't, then you get some other points elsewhere. But I don't know. I thought they were going to be a much bigger player in the whole grand scheme of things. And like it would be a, a huge boost for you. Where's this Shen guy? We're actually making progress right now, and I'm very pleased. Just wanted to report back. What do you call a cat that drinks lemonade? A sourpuss. I like it. I like it. Um, I don't think Kosh Vader's here right now, but Kosh is also very deep into Mass Effect and is in the modding community and working on some mods for Mass Effect 3 that I think are going to be pretty cool. So true. I think it's because they weren't planning on getting them much on the plot after that and just have them as more assets. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. And I, I guess, like, as a game designer, you can't plan for all actual... You know, you can't plan for everything, but... It, it was like, they were a whole-ass villain on a planet and in, in game one. It just felt like they deserved better. You know? Give him some space. I wanted to learn more about the Rachni. But, oh well. Dragon Age is cool though. I definitely want to play Dragon Age at some point and replay through it because I always have good memories about playing that game. Um, and it's due for a playthrough. After I finish Jade Empire, though, I'm going to be playing um, Jedi Fallen Order and Survivor because I also, as, you know, Knights of the Old Republic, I'm really into Star Wars, and I really want to play through that game. Is this... Sh oh, shit. It's Sagacious Zoo. Where's he going? A Mass Effect game where you play as the Rack Knight. That'd be pretty cool. Wait. Oh, is this the point of no return over here? I'm glad I caught up with you. I know you are very skilled, but this isn't a normal situation. That's an idea. This is the to sanctum happen. of the Lotus Assassins. You have neglected speaking with me, so I need to know. I mean, I asked you to take a great risk. You, you're a good friend. I don't want to lose that. I've looked for that feeling for so long, and I seem to have found it in a very unexpected place that's hand must 